Uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode of What Is It? Now, what is it? This is our life. And it can be your life, too, for the measly sum hey, of hey, hey. $500,000. Um, the cats are trying to rip each other apart. Oh. <clears throat> um, all I really have to say to the idiots and Keen is... I'm glad you're watching my videos because maybe number one you'll learn something, and number two, you're idiots. You're, yeah, you're idiots. And number two, though, that means that my videos are more likely to get bumped up for more people to see, and more people are going to see my ads, and I'm going to make more money. So you're actually not helping yourselves. And I saw the hypocritical nutcase named Garrett today. And I called him an idiot. I should have called him a hypocrite because that's actually what he is. But, chasing the meter maid. Yeah, chasing the meter maid. I'm like, you're just. Anyway, so I'm talking to somebody on Facebook, and no, it's nobody's business who that person, what that person's name is. Um, and I don't want the Keniac people to start attacking, going after people. I know what what you guys are like. Believe me, I know what you guys are like. So, but, um, I thought, because of the conversation we're having, I thought I would go ahead and give some information. Let me first say, you know, I am sorry at the time I didn't think about saving the videos of the harassment. Because they've taken a lot of those videos where they harass the meter maids down. And and we know why. Because they, they want to claim they're not harassing anybody. Bullshit. You know, so you know, wait till you run out in front of a meter maid and trip her or knock her down or something like that. Boy, oh boy, I hope they, they arrest you and send you to jail. Now, okay, uh, our story. Okay, well, I'll tell you our story. And please feel, sweetie, feel free to remind me of things if need be. And the reason I'm not showing anything lower is because I don't have a shirt on right now. For those who routinely watch my videos, you know I hate shirts. But, um, anyway. Only it's a touch warm today. What? And it's a touch warm today. Yes. Feels nice out there. Oh my gosh, the mountain looks beautiful. Here. The river. We drove by the river. You smell that that river air. It smells. Good. I like it a lot better than salt sea air. You know, salt sea sea air, sea salt, or whatever. Uh, anyway, so um, the idea for moving here was more mine than my wife's. And what we did is we bought. A, a camper trailer for how much? 400 Yes, Lucky. And Thanks, Meg. What? Um, big mistake. Yeah, big mistake. Um, you know, and, and look. Um, all we really knew about what was going on up here was what was online. Okay. People we talked to online, videos we saw online, and before I forget about it and talking about videos, I'm, I'm going to mention Dave Ridley because he's changed. He's grown, so to speak. See, there was a time Dave Ridley behaved in a way similar to the Keen activist, but he found he can build bridges with people if he's not an a-hole with them. And people are more willing to talk to them, more willing to listen to them. They're willing to be polite with them if he treats them professionally. But there's still some there. Yeah, there always will be. But um, anyway, so, you know, we, I'm not going to say the individual's name. Well, I will say the individual's first name, Kirk. We were talking to him. I guess mostly him. We weren't really talking to I Auburn, were we? Yeah. And oh my gosh, that's a, a sink. Oh, there goes the cars. Or it's a landslide. 
It's a sinkhole. What? Oh. So he and his wife slash girlfriend, whatever, went and picked the trailer up for us and took it up to Grafton. Oh boy. We got up to Grafton and we're like, we, one, we looked at the trailer and we're like, you can't live in this thing. You just can't. And, and, and you know, we bought it without actually seeing it. With seeing pictures of it. Yeah. You know, and, you know, I, I personally, I figured, hey, you know, it's not going to be that difficult to figure out how to do this or do that with the thing. Well, one, it was difficult, very difficult. And two, we had no... Well, the first big job was getting in the damn thing. Yeah. Tell me it's cut the steps off. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. And, um... Um, there was no like owner's manual or anything for it, so we go lucky. So you know we were like, okay, and we stayed the night basically. That's all we did is one night, right? In Grafton or two nights, one night, and we drove back down to Keene. And the only person we sort of knew was Kurt. Well, lucky. lucky. Kurt is one of the violent. He has bipolar disorder. He refuses to take medication for it. His wife slash girlfriend had to actually call the police to get away from him. She, he basically kidnapped her down in um, yeah. Mass. And, you know, he's from like the island or whatever they call it down there where the Kennedys live, you know. So. Cape Cod. Cape Cod. And uh, the Cape. And um, yeah, look at some spe special boy. Well, give me. And um, well, you know what he did to us, he had done to other people, but nobody, nobody ever bothered to warn people. Yeah, really. nobody bothered to tell us about it. That post I no. put up about Hush. um, Hush. Lucky. Lucky Hush. Um. Oh, now I can't remember the lying by omission. You know, they basically lied to us by not telling us what we needed to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we ran, okay? He was dangerous. He is dangerous. He's scary. He he would he pulled guns on people. He his the woman he supposedly loved. Lucky, be quiet. He punched and choked and pulled a gun on him. And there's a guy in the place where they used to live at, he'll freely talk to you and tell you that, too. Yeah. We bumped into him one day. And, um... Yes, Lucky. We know. Now, hush. Please. And, um... What did the other activist and Keen do? Nothing. Nothing. We Not wound up going... Thing. We wound up going into a homeless shelter, and it's not like they didn't know what was going on. We informed them. Yeah. After we talked to him about it, yeah, oh, well, we know about it. Yeah, they're like, oh, you know, oh, he's done that to other people. We're like, oh, why didn't you tell us? And um, because we were scared of him, and rightfully so. And there are a lot of the, the king activists that are actually very violent people. They want to complain about me. Shit. And I haven't been in a fight since high school. And how many years ago was that now? Last how many? he killed was a wasp. Yeah, how many decades? Excuse me, decades. <laughs> there ago. was. Yeah, I mean. Lucky, shut up. Um, and who actually? Who's the one with all the guns and ammo? It's not <laughs> us. Uh, you guys have a lot of guns and a lot of ammo. Another thing that gets me is you guys are more than willing to go and use the King Community Kitchen, eat dinner there. Get a food box every week, but you're not willing to volunteer there. You're not willing to donate, but you're more than willing to use the service. And anyway, so we wound up in a homeless shelter. And do you think at any point during that time, anybody stepped up to help us? Absolutely oh, no. not. And thanks for your help, assholes. You know, now there was a time. Yes, John. John, our nine-month-old kitten, wants to play. Ten month old now, I guess. Wants to play fetch. Um, He's there, a fetcher. 
there was a time where my wife had to go to the emergency room and for whatever reason I had to come back to the house and she I you know it's like we had one cell phone at the time and she couldn't get in touch with me so she walked from the hospital all the way to the CAC and there were people in there who knew her and she requested a ride and what do you think happened? Oh, hell no. No, nobody gave her. And then we got the excuse, oh, they didn't know who she was. But there were people who acknowledged her when she walked in. I think one was Pete Eyer. Pete Eyer. Yeah. So. No, don't, don't give me that shit, Pete. Yeah. And, um. Crap is. It's over there, John. Anyway, so. What you can get out of people. You know, and, and here's another thing about the Keene people. You know, they wouldn't be here if it weren't for the Free State Project, but they will, they like to belittle and downplay and attack the Free State Project. Yeah, I've been criticized by people saying, oh, don't put negative stuff up about activists on the Free State Project page on Facebook. I'm like, but hold on, these people are, are well, attacking you. Tell the truth. Yeah, they're they're attacking you, and you don't want me to to be honest about it, you know, because you know, um, uh, well, what's the idiot's name? Garrett. Not Garrett. Ian. Uh, Ian. He um, he's he's said on, on his radio show that the Free State Project is was an inside job from the start. And they'll say, oh, we're not a part of the Free State Project. We don't like the Free State Project. None of you would be here if it weren't for the Free State Project. And you know that. So stop attacking the Free State Project. You're ridiculous. We've tried to find work. And do you think that anyone bothered to help us find a job? Nope. No. Nope. And they talk all about community. We have this community. We help each other out. No, you don't. Yeah, it's fine if you've got a bag of weed. Oh yeah, they love drugs. Then they are then they're madly in love with you. Yeah. I mean they're they're definitely <laughs> drug addicts, you know. Um actually somebody you run out of that you they kick your ass out the door like you're Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, you know, somebody friended me the other day on Facebook and I looked at his page and he was one of the cat people. I should have just blocked him. I went back and looked, and I, I didn't see, couldn't tell which one he might be, so I didn't um, block him because it was. I just looked for a minute. And uh, this is John's toy mouse. He put it in the water, so it's anyway. Um, but you know, we we uh, we cooked at the CAC once, home baked bread, pan de horno, which is is you know. I'm from Spain. Yeah. What do you Bologna. think? Of? What was it? The meat sauce? Yeah, it was spaghetti. Bolognese. You know, and um. Spaghetti bolognese. And um, you know, and you know, there was I, I. One of them said, "Oh, you're not a part of us." <laughs> well, we used to be. Of course, we don't want to be a part of you now. But um, how many violent people do you have that have actually? I'm talking about people who have actually committed violence. People who have actually committed violent acts against other people. People who have committed violent acts against people's property as well. And you want to criticize me for words. You guys are loco into cabeza. And um, a little Spanish there for you. But, um, so... We got out of the shelter. We got this this flat, this apartment, and at one point we had this one young lady from I don't remember what town she lives in. Uh, I think she said twenty bucks. She would help us clean. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. were. And she said, no matter what, you know, we're gonna I'll I'll stay there, you know, until it's taken care of, until it's finished, until it's done. Yeah. Then she turns around and says, oh, it would take $3,000. Yeah. Like, bull fucking shit. Yeah. So it's like. And yes, I said, bull fucking shit. You don't yeah. like to get over it. So, um, you know, and then there was this time where uh, 
there have been some people who have moved here to the Keene area to be activists. And why did JJ leave? You know, and and these some of these people have committed suicide. Why did they commit suicide? A lot of them got up here and they're like, "Where's this community you said you had?" And they're and, and I I mentioned this once on Facebook and they're like, "Oh, well, good riddance to people who kill themselves." Are you serious? Are you that sick? These people are just nuts. Just have no damn brain. Have no sense. Yeah, I'm like, I'm sorry, but I respect human life. I don't want to see anybody off themselves. I've had one of my best friends from the 70s. He hung himself. I, I, I don't have to know you to care about you. Tell the guy who lived behind me. It was early 80s. He hung himself a year after his wife died. Oh. Hung himself in the tree in the front yard. Oh. That's nice to go out the back door and see. Oh. You're the one who saw it? Well, I remember I did see it. My mom tried to keep me in the house because I was only like 83 or 84 when it happened. So, you know, people get up here and they find out that there is not this community that the Keene people claim there is. We have a neighbor over here. He, he and I talk sometimes. And he said, you know, I really like this whole free state idea. Free State Project idea. But he won't yeah. have anything to do with the Keniacs. Right. He won't have anything to do with the people in Kane. You know, he says, man, I've heard too many you know, bad stories about what goes on there. I said, you've probably only heard the tip of the iceberg. Um, and, you know, I have come across, I don't know how many people in person and online, who say the same thing they they don't want anything to do with the people in Keene because they say there's just something wrong with them. and they're right there is something wrong with them and i think a lot of it has to do with selfishness immaturity mental illness because a lot of them are do have mental illness that's untreated um oh, no, they don't. Mm -hmm. no, honey. and then you have people like ian who's 33 and this girl was 14 when he started working on her. You're sick. Yeah, she's legal age now, but... But you started working on her when she was 14. In my eyes, that makes you a pedophile, guy. You're sick. And you're a womanizer. You have no respect for women. You just want to sleep with every woman you can find and do drugs. That's like the people in Keene, that's... Their thing is drugs and drugs. And frankly, I don't know what 90% of them even do. I don't think 90% of them even have a job. Um, drugs and chase the skirt. meter maids. Meter, yeah, chase the meter maids. We saw it today. That's their job. Chase the meter maid around. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I had the window rolled in because it's a beautiful day out. And I, I hollered out at, at that idiot uh, Garrett and I, I said, loser. Yeah, I meant I should have said hypocrite because that's what I wanted to say to him because that's what he is. He's so peaceful there, you know, the Keniacs, so peaceful, yet they beat each other up and pull guns on each other and and you wanna get down on me. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. I mean, do you realize that your thought process is really screwed up. I, I mean, honestly, do, do you realize it? You have accused me of things that I'm not guilty of, but you are. Why do you make accusations about me that you're guilty of? I'm not guilty of them. You're the people who are violent and chase children and stuff like that. Not me, not my wife. But anyway. Yeah, we're so violent when we hand our, hand our cat to a kid and let the kid pet him. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. And the cat's purring all the time, loving everything. Yeah. 
you know, and, and people have asked, well, why did you move here? Well, initially yeah. it was, you know, well, a bad mistake. initially it was, you know, hey, well, you know, free state project, free king, all that kind of, you know, yeah, like what kind of nuthole it is. And then, but now it's like, you know, we don't say that. Free state project, maybe, but we don't really say that, but, you know, um, because see, guess what? We get along with our neighbors. Yeah, I know the the cane activists don't get along with their neighbors, but <laughs> we get along with ours. Sometimes we may have a, a tussle, but most of the time we get along with our neighbors just fine. Most of the time it just turn the music out. Yeah. With us. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, oh my gosh, you guys are really, really odd. You know. I, I, you know what I, I was thinking about today is I should open carry for the sole purpose of keen activists seeing me open carry so they can go, oh no, he's going to shoot us, he's going to shoot us, oh, oh, because I think that's how you would react. Honestly, I think that's how you would react, because you all are crazy. And, lucky. Like I said, I haven't been violent since high school, and that wasn't even my senior year. So, you guys are nuts. And there is no community. You say, we have this community, we support each other. No, you don't. And the fact that you lie and tell people that is really, really sad. It's really sad. Um, and you start rumors about people that aren't true and I don't know you just you, you, you guys need to be on medication you need counseling you need to grow up you know, I've, been a, I've been politically active since the 70s since the 1970s. Geez, I'm older. In some cases, I'm more than twice the age of, of you guys. I've seen it. I've been there. I've done it. Now, see, I saw it in Spain. Yeah, I was born and raised under Inerlissimo Francisco Franco. So, you think things are bad? I've seen it a whole lot worse. I guarantee you, a whole lot worse. And that's why I'm politically active. That's why I'm political. It's because I don't ever want to see that anywhere ever again. But what see, were they doing over there? Oh, uh, the police would just... Uh, Walk up to you and arrest you because you were looked down the wrong way yep, or something? they'd shoot you because of it. You know, the, the Guardia Civil, the Guardia Civil would... If you were a political opponent or somebody, all, all somebody had to do was say you said something. It, it didn't have to be true. Just say you said something that put you against a wall, a wall and shoot you, that put you into a Spanish prison where you didn't want to be, that you probably weren't coming out, not alive anyway. You probably weren't coming out dead either. They, who knows what would happen to your body. Um, if you wanted to work, you know, you weren't going to make much, but if you wanted to work, you're going to have to kiss up to the, you know, the right people. Um, the gypsies were treated like, like what? trash, Gosh. to say the least. And um, they already been through that. And yes, things are getting that way. They're going in that direction. The United States is very much like uh, Germany was in the 1920s, but um, I don't want it to get no. that bad. Lucky, what's the Lucky, matter? Get problem. Get. Lucky. I don't know what is problem? So anyway, you know, I, I said, I know my beautiful hair. It's, it's coming off actually the day after tomorrow. Not the beard, just this. Just the hair. Uh, um. I, I, take too long to grow back. Yeah. Um, was it Payne? Thomas Payne, I believe. I feel like him 
quite a bit because Thomas Paine stuck to his beliefs, stuck to his morals. And part of that meant criticizing Jefferson and Washington and others because he had standards and he wasn't going to corrupt those standards. And he lost a lot of supporters, a lot of friends because he stood up and spoke the truth. And that's what I do. Always have. So that's why I feel like Thomas Jefferson, no, not Thomas Jefferson, Thomas, Thomas Paine, excuse me. Anyway, so I guess that's all I have to say. I know it was this video wasn't as good as I planned on, but I was actually going to be more precise on our journey up, up here, but I didn't get into a lot of stuff. But anyway, bye.